I'd just like to welcome everyone to Glasgow for the British Open 2012. My name's Callum Robb, I'm the captain of the Scottish All Styles Karate team. I'm here today at the British Open Karate Championships 2012 at Kelvin Hall in Glasgow. Yeah! I got into karate when I was eight years old, basically going along with my mother to pick my uh, elder brother Ewan, who was previously the captain of the Scottish All Styles Karate team up from, up from training. So I said to my, my mum and dad, I'm getting bored of watching this here, I want to get into it. And from there, karate has been brilliant for me. It's installed an inner focus for me and a determination and a will to win. There's lots and lots of different categories that have been introduced and I think it's brilliant. There's lots of long, young kids and there's also a disabled category which is brilliant. There's disabled kata and kumite and there's lots of young categories and this competition just gets bigger and bigger every year. The sport as a whole is growing with a big push to try and to get into the Olympics for 2020. It's grown remarkably well in the past two years, now almost 1,200 competitors, 21 countries. Uh, from Nepal, India, Russia, the European Union. It's just a fantastic championship to be involved in. We've got children, we've got the youth, we've got seniors and cadets, and I hope in the near future you two can come to Glasgow and enjoy that experience. I'm Dan Phillips, I'm a British referee, and we're here this weekend for the British Championships in Glasgow. It's on K-Day, which is one element of the big promotion for the K's on the way, Karate's bid to get into the Olympics. We've tried several times before. This time we're all really positive. There's a big, big promotion on with the World Karate Federation. They put a big effort into it this time, and I'm sure we'll get there. Hi, my name is Paul Brennan. I'm from the uh, Irish National Karate Federation, Onokai, and uh, we've travelled over for the British Karate Federation tournament with over 50 competitors this weekend. Uh, from all over Ireland participating in the CAT and the Kumite events. So we're very uh, happy to be here and it's a very, very large entry with lots of different countries participating. Looking forward to uh, some good results over the weekend and some good competition. I think the main thing here is, is this is all about the kids. They are today and tomorrow. They are everything to do with karate. It's nice to see the amount of kids that are here today from all ages. Especially, I mean, specifically today, we've got all the ones that are able to compete at world and European level. So, just the standard of the 14 to 15 year olds as cadets is just absolutely brilliant. This weekend has been a great weekend for uh, British Karate uh, with the inclusion of disabled sports, i.e. me being visually impaired. I'm Stuart Maxwell, I'm Peter's Karate Coach, part of Cab Kobe Osaka International, Scottish Karate Governing Body. Uh, I've been totally supporting Peter and his daughter over the last five years. Lindsay won her first gold medal British title when she was eight. Between her and Peter they have more or less dominated British, the British disabled side of things. Uh, very important for next year. Uh, but we get the vote for the Olympics and perhaps we'll get far more funding. Peter is now going to re represent Scotland and the disabled side of the sport in Paris and it's an honour and a pleasure to as a coach, go with Peter and to help Scotland in Paris. My name is Vidya Chauhan and I'm 19 years old. I study medicine at the University of Glasgow and um, I've been training in Gojuru for eight years now under Sensei Kevin Olsen, um, Tony Charles Sheehan and Mark Adams Sheehan and karate has been amazing for me. It's given me discipline and self-confidence and I have the best time competing. 
I am now under 21's champion um, at the British Open and it's just been a really good day for me and hopefully I'll get to my showdown one day um, yeah, and keep progressing. So there's lots of excitement at the moment with the uh, possibility of karate being involved in the 2020 Olympics and uh, there's great anticipation among all the competitors and coaches because it would be a huge boost to our sport if we get the uh, Olympic recognition. From 6 years old to 19 years old when he suffered a serious uh, health problem, it was while he was in hospital that he actually started to think about the inspiration that karate gave him. And that was his inspiration, in his own words, to become an Olympic champion. And I think he's proved the point. The key is on the way. The K 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 is on